All I see is blessings, got no time for stressing Don't believe in failures in my life, it's only lessons They just making room for what I'm on now I don't got a clue, but I know the one who does know how Oh wow It's like I'm learning the game with the maker I already know now Destiny has my name What's up, what's up you two? Right now you're hanging with Jacob and today we talking about Lyft. It's this guy right here beside me um, talking about Lyft and Uber. And he just letting us know that this can't be a full-time job. It only could be a side hustle. Yeah, I know I've been doing it full-time for the last month. But we about to get into it, y'all. Um, some things I agree with him. Some things I disagree with him. And some things I ain't even knew. Until I saw his knew about until I saw his video, and then um, I'm just gonna you know talk about how I feel about some of his stuff. But let's get into the video. How can you even make money driving for Uber and Lyft in 2022? Is it even worth it at this point? I've had a few folks ask me to make a video on it, so here I am, and I've been driving as a rideshare driver off and on since 2014. So. In this business, the right. So he been driving for like six or seven years, off and on, y'all, off and on. He been driving six or seven years. He ain't never said he did it full time. He said he been driving off and on for six or seven years. Most likely he been doing this for, for part time, the whole time. Yo, see, I I did it part time for my the first two and a half years, and the last month I did it full time. Now I made good money, but let's get into it ride sharing business the goal of uber and lyft based on my observation after doing this for six seven years off and on they want to find out what is the lowest we can pay drivers and still keep them on the road so keep that in mind no matter what you do or where you're doing it they are trying to find a way to get you or someone like you that is true yo i think that's true because like the first two weeks yo I was being, I've been getting like, um, screech with Lyft. I can't really say too much about Uber, but I, I think they like similar to each other. But I've been getting like screech bonus, um, uh, like rise with Lyft. I've been getting like two or three in the morning. Now I get none. Only time I get screech bonus if I make a video like I make it right now and then the next day. Uh, but later on that day after I put that video on, uh, Uber had deemed me. I mean, lift a deem me and let me know that it's a bon one bonus in the morning. And sometimes the app will mess up on the um that that one um street bonus ride. Yeah, mess up your eye. I had to um, hit them up like, yeah, I got an error with the little triangle, and they can't. And I, I hit them up. I contact them. They be like, they can't do nothing about it. But let's get into it. To do it for less. So can you still make money even doing this in 2022? Yes. But you need some serious strategy. I'm going to give you a few tips. And you let me know in the comments if you've engaged in any of these or it makes sense to you or you've seen others doing this. First, do not do this full time. See? Do not do it full time as even Uber and Lyft refers to it as. It is a side hustle. Do not use this as your... He said do not do it full time. I don't think he ever did it full time. That let me know that he never did it full time because he said even Lyft and Uber say it's a side hustle. So I did it full time, yo. And I was making more than some of the jobs I work in my life, yo. I was making I make a, over a thousand a week. Um I know y'all gonna be like, yeah, what about gas and stuff? In some in some weeks I made twelve hundred dollars. Um that extra two hundred make up for the gas. I'm, I'm just saying. Primary source of income. Like I just stated before, their goal is to see how low you will do this and remain on the road. Which means they are constantly lowering prices, lowering fares. Yeah, that's true. Removing bonuses. That's what I was talking about earlier. So we're, we're going to skip do ahead. Do not drive for regular fares. What I mean, regular fare, that's when there is no surge, no bonus, no promos being offered or anything. You just going and picking somebody up, taking them from point A to point B. <coughs> I disagree with that. Um, so, sometimes you do. Um, well, I, I I I go everywhere because the reason why I go everywhere because 
once I get to that area, I will eventually. I probably get a. I get a ride from that area too. And I live in like the south, the south area. So the longer the ride, the more money you make. And Columbia, South Carolina is like a big circle. So wherever you're going, you're gonna have rides. Wherever you go, you're gonna have rides. If you just sit right there in that one spot, you won't get a ride for like 30 minutes. I'm serious, yo. I done did it before. I done sit. I just sat in a spot for 30 minutes straight, doing what he we talking about. Cause somebody told me the same thing. Man, my hundred, my set, my set rate is a hundred percent. I accept everything. The reason I say do not drive for regular fares are they're not worth it. You are not profiting. Even to the point of the, I say that's true in certain areas. Like, like if you're in a big population area like New York, or California, that might be true. But if you're in a um area like I'm in, in South Carolina, that's not true. You'll make money because you the longer the ride, the more money you make. Fifty three cents or something that the IRS gives you per mile. You're barely profiting at that rate in a lot of markets. Do not drive for regular rates. I cannot stress that any stronger. Which is also why I say avoid doing this full time. Because if you drive eight hours a day, chances are some of that's going to be done at regular rates. And you're not making any money at that point. Do not drive further than average trips. This one can be a little complicated. What I mean by average trip. And with the eight with the eight hours, y'all, that's not too easy. Cause majority of the time I, I work eight hours, I make anywhere between two to three hundred hours. The only days I don't really make that much when I work eight hours is on, on Mondays and Wednesdays. Those are only two days, but the rest of the days, even on Sunday, if I work eight hours on Sunday, I make over two hundred hours. Trips. When you're driving, how often, do, or better yet, how far do, does your average passenger travel? In my market, the average trip is going to be between one and five miles. Most people getting in a vehicle are going to travel between one and five miles. It's no sense to drive 10 miles at your own cost to pick up someone and you're only going to earn money for five miles. Do not drive more than the average trip. That's it's going to change from market to market. In your city, maybe people are driving and are riding for an average of 10 or 15 miles then it may be okay in that case to drive 10 miles, 15 miles to go pick someone up. But if they're only getting in and getting out after a couple miles, it makes no sense to be traveling 10 miles to get somebody and they're going to be in and out of your car in three minutes and you're going to make $2 or something. So do not drive further than the average trips you receive. Next. That's not true. All right, just like I said earlier, man. Sometimes you won't get rides like that, like 10 minutes away. And you're gonna have a five minute a minute ride. You're gonna have a five minute ride, and most likely you'll get somebody that's in your squeeze right after that waiting for you. If you don't, on your way coming back, like say if you is coming back, yo, because you're gonna talk about this later on too. Like you wasting gas, I'm you wasting gas, you just throwing away money because you gotta come all the way back like 20 minutes. Say if you um when you do come back. Most likely, you'll be coming back in like three or four minutes. You get another dean. You got another person to pick up. It happens. I'm serious, y'all. Today, um, um, I started at um three thirty. I got done at seven, and I made um hundred like twenty cent dollars. First four hours, I had made seventy dollars. Then my last ride was um I made a little over seventy. But my last ride was like $46 because it was a um, 48 minute ride. Do not drive outside of your area. This is extremely important. This can absolutely cost you money if you start doing this. When I say outside of your area, let's say my hand in the circle represents your city. There's another suburb over here that is outside of your area but you can get trips in that suburb that'll bounce you around in that suburb you get a trip in your town for someone that wants to go to that suburb you take that person to that suburb when it's time so you want to for you right, you're to come right home to your area 
that trip back is going to be on you. So you do not want to drive somebody. See, that's not true either, yo. Because usually when I get rides, y'all, I don't know why, but usually I go out my area and I go in another area and I do rides for a little while. I always get somebody coming back to my side because my side where I live at, I live off of Broad River. So it always busy there. And it's a lot of jobs that's at the, by the Harbison, um, by the, off of Harbison Street. It's a lot of people that work on on that street right there and they um, live like on Two Notch side or any other side that's way out my way out my circle so i always get a ride right back to the area that i'm at y'all so that's not true so if you do go out your area your, your little circle majority of the time you won't get a ride back to that circle and you ain't gonna need for you to um you know just drive back while getting paid if you want if we, when you get back to your circle if you don't want to go out your um, circle you can just cancel like he tell you to do that's yeah, so another way you could stay in there but me Nah, I'll set everything. Say 20, 30 miles outside of your area to their suburb, and then you got to eat the cost of that 20 mile trip back. Host the trips there. Whenever you're done at the end of the day, you're going to drive back, and the chances are highly likely that no one is going to be in your vehicle. So note see? myself there, and then you can check and see where they're going. If they're going outside the area, I'll cancel the trip. I'd rather drive five or six miles to pick someone up and lose the five miles I deadheaded than to take someone 30, 40 miles outside of the area and have to deadhead 30 or 40 miles back at my own expense. It's just not worth it. So do not drive outside of your area. Yeah, just like I said, it depends where you live at, y'all. If you in a bigger population area, yeah, you could do what he said, just cancel. But if you, in, like me, in the country and stuff, most of your ride is going to be long. So you might as well go ahead and take that ride because most likely that ride going to come back to your area. It, you Eventually you're going to get a, you might be in that, that out your circle, out your um service circle, out your little circle. You might be out there for a little while, but you will get a ride back. I'm serious, y'all. You will get a ride back. It, I did it for the last month, y'all. Full time, full time. I did it for the last month, full time. I even have signs in my vehicle telling folks just in case they accidentally get in or they decide that and all these folks that have been making channels over the years about driving for uber and lyft do not chase surges two reasons and bonuses by the way lyft has bonuses uber has surges first of all he telling the truth right there right about this y'all about like i said the first two weeks of me doing lyft full time y'all i was getting um i was getting uh street bonus three times out in the morning time then i noticed that they change it just for the afternoon and just for night um time because they they know that i don't really work no hours so they they change it to them hours so then uh um they had like you know you get three um riding riding channels like you know you get like three of them a, a week and you know at first it was real low it was, it was starting off like 26 and they go like um probably like 10 rides. I mean eight rides then go all the way up to about like 13 rides Then I noticed it started going up every week. It was starting going up It went to 32 then with the 39 Then last week It went to 78 and this week it went to 92 I like yo, so it's like and you get three bonus a week. So who gonna do 92 rides and the two more bonus those two more uh, ride challenges probably eat up together, probably eat up for another like 28 to 30 rides. Man, I didn't even get close to 92 this week, y'all. I just took, I just chill out this week because um last week, just like I said, I hit a little over 1300 last week, so I really hit um 1282 on my app, but you you, you count my cash um tips, it was a little over 300, $1,300, like 1301 or 1302, something like that. Well, if you drive to an area where there's a surge, surge does not mean you're going to get that money. It yeah, just means a whole lot of passengers or potential passengers are opening the app at the same Creating a surge is even going to request a ride. You've potentially driven a few miles. So all he talking about, like, like with the um, with Lyft is um, is um, when you go into an area, 
you get a um, ride bonus. Like they give you a ride bonus. Like it'd be like three or four dollars. You pick somebody up from this area, and then they have them all over your map. And you drive to that area. You try and say like, we, once you get there, they can easily cancel it. That happened to me plenty of times, yo. That happened to me plenty of times. Like I, soon I got to the area, like the whole screen was paint, and soon I got there, yo, it, it went off. I was so mad, yo. I'm like, yo, I'm already here, so why would I, why wouldn't I? get that bonus to my thing but it canceled that what he talking about um i think surge is the same thing with uber as like you know with lift um ride bonus i was across town or even more chasing the surge that you didn't get wasting fuel and yep. the surge comes down for everybody do not chase surges lift does it in the form of bonuses yep. and the exact same Scenario. Applies. Yep. Yep. Same There's thing. There's no guarantee you're going to get it. It can disappear at any time. He's telling the truth about that. I would strongly recommend not chasing the surges. In the case of Lyft, if you're real close to an area and you see a big bonus or something, maybe. But when I say don't chase, I mean don't grocery store hey. on the way home. <coughs> Excuse me. The pay. Next, do not wait for people. When they have more than one stop, let's say somebody's getting in your vehicle and they want to go home, but they want to stop at a grocery store on the way home. <coughs> Excuse me. The pay, the pay is the reason for all of this shit. But let me just say, the pay what you're receiving per minute waiting for people is literally pennies. I mean, I've heard it as low as 15 cents a minute. See, this is something that I didn't do, yo. Because I'm a, I'm, I'll pull it, pull it like this, y'all. Y'all can listen to them, but me, I put myself in I put myself in this predicament. I look at it like, say if I'm in that person's shoes, yo. I, I would want the lift driver to wait for me, y'all. That that's how I put it, y'all. Say I, I put it like this too. Then I think about it other ways, like say if that was my mom's, and the lift driver just left my mom's, yo. I'll be I'll be upset, yo. Uh, they give you a five minute waiting period time, yo. Like, I see if you waited five minutes and those people didn't show up, show back up, I understand. But it's some people that I waited for more than five minutes, like people that got dropping their kids off at school or picking their kids up from school or or, or, or elderly woman going to the store, elderly man going to the doctor and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll I, I wait for them. The, the longest I think I waited, ever waited, is like, I probably think I like 15 minutes. Cause that was one time. But, ten, like 10 minutes, I waited like 10 minutes a couple of times, y'all. And then if they get to that 10 minute point and they ain't not coming out, yeah, then I leave. I cancel and leave. And it do count it as one, in one ride. And sometimes when you, Save the it's some save the um that five minute um five minute go out and that person come in after that five minute mark and you take them back to the um next stop they account that as two rides sometimes that happened to me um on one time yo where um I had a um a stop and the person waited more than and I waited over five minutes and they count that as two stops. It makes absolutely no sense for you to sit in your vehicle, potentially run in the heat, air condition, or just or just idle in the car for 15 cents a minute. For me personally, unless there's some special circumstance where the passenger has indicated they're going to tip, which is very rare, or somebody has told me, uh, you want me to buy you anything when I go in there? Maybe something like that. Somebody go to a gas station or go into a store and some people do they some people don't even indicate they're going to tip they wait till you um like wait for them and drop them off and then they give you a tip yo i done had that happen to me plenty of times too yo they waited till i dropped them off and then they gave me a tip want something i'll get your hamburger okay you know something to make it worth the right to cancel that stop get paid for that the part you've done and leave if you're in the middle of a surge you're in the middle of uh what do they call it bonuses like do three or four yeah well he's saying that um when you gotta stop like that you do not have to wait when you drop that person off you will automatically get paid for that and if you want to streak or something like that 
it won't count against you. Four trips in a row and you get $20 or whatever the hell they have in your market. It's in your best interest to cancel it. Why would you sit in the middle of a surge when you could potentially get a new trip waiting for somebody making 25 cents or 15 cents a minute? The minute they get out of your car and you get permission to cancel that trip, cancel the trip. It's not, it's not worth waiting on it. Now, it's obviously different if you take my advice and you don't drive for normal fares. So if you got somebody in the car and you're waiting on them and it's a $5 surge, then yeah, every mile you drive them is paying at a premium. So yeah, you can wait all day long like that. But in, in most cases, like if you're doing with Lyft and they give you, do five trips and we'll give you an extra $40 or something, something like that. Well, the minute they get in the car and you do them, you take them for even a half leg of that trip, Lyft counts that as a whole trip. So let's say you've done four trips already, you're waiting on your fifth trip and you're gonna go home. And the person has two stops. The minute you complete that first stop, you've got your bonus. That second leg of their trip is paying you a regular fare. And you know what I already, I already said about driving a regular fare. So in most cases, unless you really feel like you have some kind of moral obligation, it might not be in your best interest to be waiting on them when they come out. I've had to, I've left passengers. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And they know you can leave them. So they actually do know that. So that's the last, and here's the last one. Do not, and I hate to say it this way, but it is what it is and most drivers know. Do not trust Uber or Lyft. They do not operate in your best interest. They are not concerned with your safety or even if you make a profit at all. Everything about how they run a business makes it clear. They have no Yeah, I don't think he lying about that, y'all. Y'all gonna hear some more stuff he talking about like with the um with the passengers' names and stuff. But well, let's get back into it. You know, I'm gonna let him over how you're doing out here. Whether it's putting folks in in passenger positions that have criminal records and you're doing little to no back background checks. In fact I believe as a passenger, <coughs> you can create a, you can create, you can actually create an account so you can, you can hail rides and not even be required to use your actual name. So that's, that's true too, yo. Cause I, I have people with crazy names, you like, and then I have people with like three letter um, names and stuff like Eagle. What? I'm like, what? You, you you should automatically put the full name up there so we can know it, y'all. Just in case something happened, we could like tell the police officer or somebody what's the full name is. So that's one thing that I I, I I I agree. That's another thing I agree with him on that, yo. That um yeah, you should automatically put full name, full names, not nicknames. No nicknames should be allowed. So let's get back into it, yeah. I believe Lyft and Uber knows who you are, but the driver, if you pick up somebody named Slim, that <laughs> doesn't tell you anything. I know that don't. So that's you can nothing. have that situation. Uh, there, there's a host of situations where it's clear they just simply do not really give a damn about you. So, so I'm gonna leave it at that, y'all. Um, um, this is this is channel right here, yo. So y'all can go. Subscribe to him, check him out, yo. His channel is right here, man. Just like I say, some stuff I agree with him. Some some things he taught me I didn't even know about, and some I, some things I disagree with him. But just like I say, different areas is different rules. Like he might he he like he live in a big population, California, New York. He's like he live in a big population. I live in the country, so the longer it arrives, the better the money. And you will get somebody when you get to that area too. You will get somebody else when you get to that area. I don't care. You could be five minutes of driving back. You will get somebody. And you will come right right, right back to your circle. But I'm going to end it right here, y'all. Y'all like what y'all see? Smash that like button. Subscribe. Click on the bell. If y'all wanted me to do another reaction on somebody else, yo, place it down low in the comment, yo. And i see you when I see you. Peace. Wow. Ooh, but I know the one who does know how Oh wow It's like I'm learning the game With the maker I already know Now Destiny how